me. Yes, I did chop some of my hair off. Nobody cares. It's summer, it's getting hot out there, and I'm getting pregnant. So I wanted some of my hair gone. Bump date? Did you ask for a bump date? Wait, is that what they say? Bump date? Who wants to see it? If you don't want to see it, close your eyes. I'm 24 weeks now. Well, in reality, when this video gets posted, I'll actually be further along than that. But you know, I'm actually filming a little bit ahead of time. Yay. Anyway, what are we doing today? Let me tell you. I used to do a lot of videos testing different craft kits. And the only reason I stopped doing them is because I kind of can't find craft kits that I'm all that interested in. I feel like a lot of craft kits don't really involve all that much creativity. It's more just like assembly. I'm personally not that interested in that type of kit. However, I wanted to do another craft kit video. And so I went to my hoard of craft kits. Yes, I have one of those. None of them seemed good enough to warrant an entire video. But then I'm like, when are they gonna get done? Maybe if I combine all of them. Some of these have literally been sitting in my art room for, for years. years. So what I'm gonna do today is just do all of them. <laughs> just all of them. None of these are exciting enough for me where I wanna take a deep dive, but I'm totally willing to do a nice shallow swim through all of them. So basically we're doing quantity over quality. Yeah, that's what everyone loves. I will say I recently purchased a screen printing kit and that is not part of this group because that actually is a very involved kit. I'm actually still trying to figure out how it works. I am hoping that I can get through a decent amount of these. I have the rest of the day to film this video. So we'll see how this goes. Should I randomize this or should I just pick something? Oh, I just got nervous. I don't know. It's <laughs> Oh, hey, I'm sorry. Let me move this stuff over. I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what to do. Okay. Just pick one. This one. I honestly have no memory of buying this. Window Art Wonders. A stunning craft using quality materials and bursting with brilliant ideas. I'll be the judge of that. Open. And what do we see? This bag is not a toy. When I used to do craft kit review videos, I would try to be very thorough. Remember, this is shallow swim. Eee, what is all this stuff? Oh, I hate these. I hate these stupid sponges. Why did they give me two pairs of scissors? Craft glue, little clippies, and that. Oh, ow, you poked me. In the baby. Circular tissue paper. Hoops. Oh, I have to read. What if I don't want to? What is this? This looks so complicated. Oh, there's video instructions. I like videos. Okay, that's actually pretty simple, but it's the kind of thing that I like because there's a lot of creative freedom and a lot of options to do whatever you wanna do. We're gonna take this little plasty, both sides. Are we crystal clear on that? Now, I already forgot how to do it. Video, come back. Okay, they've set this up to be like a kind of partner thing so you can do it with somebody else, which is why we have two of everything. Cute, but I'm a lone wolf. I don't need anyone. We take a white square. That's gonna be the background. And then I use the colors to create my design. I have to come up with a design. What do I wanna do? 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 Do I wanna do something very typical of me and get yelled at for never stepping out of the box? Or do I wanna do something very different for me and get yelled at for being too far outside the box? Tough call. I feel like a landscape would look good. Although I'm not typically the best at landscapes. So we'll see how this goes. Let's start with the glue. Ooh. I still don't know what this little container is for. Apply a nice layer of glue. Get it all nice and sticky. The final image is going into this hoop, so just in that area. I can start creating on here. I feel like the ripped look is kind of nice. We're just gonna let her rip. <laughs> right now, I'm kind of trying to create a sky. Maybe some yellow in there. That's not gonna blend with the blue. What am I doing? Okay. Ooh, that's something. 
Okay, let's just keep going. What do I wanna do? Mountains, like that. I'm trying to make like a little mountain range here. It's looking awfully kindergarten. Oh, I'm so bad at landscapes, oh my gosh. All right, so there's my little creation. I actually kind of got into that. It's not the best looking thing on the planet. For a quick test of the kit, I think it turned out okay. There's not much to work with here. There's only one little measly circle of each color. So at this point, it needs to dry. Hopefully before I finish filming this video, it'll be done. I got this to dry much faster using a heat gun. At this point, I should just be able to peel this off of the plastic. That worked. Then you take your hoop, place that down, hold it in place. Why does this kind of smell like wet dog? Then you just fold this over and glue it in place. Okay, it's finished. This is actually so cute. I'm in shock right now. I kind of like it. I think that this was a great kit actually. It just needed more tissue paper. But other than that, it's really cute. One down, two, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, a lot to go. This one is actually very intriguing to me. Somebody mailed this to me. It's an airbrush for a t-shirt makeover. This looks like it came out of the 80s or something. Oh, it's 2014? What? That's still like almost 10 years old. Wow, that's still almost 10 years old. Mm. Oh, a manual. Hmm, it smells like Play-Doh. What is, what is that? Here's the airbrush. Oh, is it squeeze powered? Lovely little markers. You know, these just work like a gem. A single square of star fabric. What in the world? Some of the ugliest buttons I've ever seen. I thought we were airbrushing. There's a book to read. Part one, holy crap. Okay, I've consumed the information. Basically all of this nonsense is to create shapes to spray around. It's all circles. They don't provide any stencils. You have to make your own stencil. I like being creative and making my own stuff, but also like some stencils might've been a good idea. I don't know, I don't know. They give you three of the ugliest colors. These are supposed to be fabric markers. I wonder if you can use any fabric markers. Let me do a quick test. Ugh. <coughs> Grab one of the pens, push the pen through. I put the pen in there the way it shows, and then it just says, design with spray. This marker is super dry. Maybe that's why. Let me try a different marker. Oh, there we go. That is actually working. Let's see if the yellow works. Yellow kind of works a little bit. I have my own fabric markers here, so I'm gonna see if I can use this with other markers. There we go. That's something. That's gonna take forever when these little tiny dots of color are what's coming out of it. I don't know how you fill in an area. Yeah, this does not work. <laughs> I tried. There's just not enough juice. What is this? That! They make it look like this thing is just I'm really glad I tested this out before I actually started making a stencil because I don't think that this is worth spending the time making a custom stencil to do that. Oh. This kit is a no. Moving on. Ooh, unicorn surprise sugar bomb. So this is like a bath bomb kind of thing. Last time I made bath bombs was a catastrophe. Um, that's not good. Let's not do that again. Oh, did I need that? Is that an already formed bath bomb? The bath bombs are already made. Okay. Why are they already made? I thought I was gonna make them. Let's see. It's fun and easy to become an expert sugar bomb decorator that can't even make your own bath bombs. Wait, what? Basically, you're just decorating these pre-made bath bombs. I guess. And then this is the bowl where you're supposed to dissolve them. Are you not supposed to actually use these in, in the, the bath? bath? It does say this set contains chemicals that may be harmful if misused. Is putting it in the bath with your naked body misusing it? I wouldn't trust it. Oh, I found the small print warning. It does say not recommended for use in the bath. What the? I thought I was gonna make myself a luxury bath. I'm just making a fizzy block. Fine. Let me try to take the skepticism down a notch. Keep myself open to the possibility that I might cut myself if I keep doing that. This might be fun. All right, well, let's get on to the making. So you take this whipped soap that you can't actually use in the bath. Put the little piping tip on there. And then you just 
Oh, pipe, a nice little topping. That is the worst piping job I've ever done. This stuff is very difficult to squeeze out. What do I want to put on here? This tacky little star. How about some little sprinkles? Don't you dare think about playing the sprinkle song right now. This is not worthy. That is all. <laughs> That's number one. I mean, I guess I might as well do all of them. Ew, it's coming out like spaghetti. I'm just gonna try to smooth it out. Okay, it's so gross. At least the rainbow is in the right order. One less thing for me to complain about. Dare I open this glitter? <laughs> All right, there's number two. Cool. I'm gonna abandon the piping tip because that got weird. Let's just go crazy with this and try to do all the colors at once. What have I done there? <laughs> Let me just swirl it around. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. I was trying to do something unique and different, but this kind of ended up just being the worst thing ever. All right, that's what I made. Here are my three creations. I think they just progressively got worse, which is always a good thing. Let's watch them fizz. Here we go. It's gonna go in the water. Wow, this is the most underwhelming fizz. The fact that this is the end result, pretty pathetic. You decorate them to do this, but um, yeah, okay, that one's done. Okay, so we've had one great experience, one experience that was over before it started, and one really underwhelming experience. Shall we keep going? This one, I'm very interested in what this actually is. Mini glitter bowls, little bowls, big sparkle. Sounds like a complete mess, and I'm really shocked at myself for buying this. Oh my gosh, you're literally making a bowl out of the glitter. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. The kit comes with these three colors. They're fine, but I have an enormous amount of glitter that I never use because I don't even really like glitter that much. Shh. Maybe I just use my own glitter. Pretty simple. You mix the glitter with the glue, you paint it on, you just keep on doing that. I'm gonna take the little glue. Oh, it's so chunky. I don't know if this glue is gonna work. Oh boy, the glue has gone bad. Yeah, see, this is what happens when you wait like four years to use a kit. I mean, I have Elmer's glue. I'm gonna go with Elmer's. What colors do I want? These are cute. Let's start with the purple. We are just gonna create a nice little glue mixture. I'm gonna Gonna just paint it on the bowl. Let's do blue now. It looks like nothing. I don't really have space for three more colors. I'm starting to see why they only gave you three colors. <laughs> this is a tiny bowl. Maybe we get rid of the green. Here's the yellow glitter going on. Ooh, the pink is a really strong color compared to the rest of them. I hate to admit it, but this is actually kind of fun. <laughs> so there is the start of my glitter bowl, but obviously it's gonna need hours to dry. But the end of the day has come. I powered through four craft kits, but at the end of it, all I have is this, some pink water sitting in the sink and a wet glue bowl. I still really wanna finish all these craft kits. I feel like some of the good creations have yet to come. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna come back and film again tomorrow. Tomorrow was supposed to be an editing day, but I'm changing my plan. I'm shifting my schedule. I'm rearranging. I'm gonna come back for the rest of them tomorrow and we're gonna have part two of this video. So the next video will start with me doing the remaining layers of glue and then we'll go from there. So don't forget to come back next week to see me finish the rest of the craft kits. I will see you guys then for part two. Bye.